Okay, so if you understand basic statistics, well, this will be a very easy problem to solve. So the question is, what is the median of this data set right here? So we have two, four, six, eight, and again, we're trying to find the median. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second, then of course, I'm gonna define the median and tell you how to calculate it. Now, I'm also going to be explaining the mode, M-O-D-E, mode, and the mean as well. So these are three concepts in statistics that you have to understand. And uh, because all of these terms start with M, oftentimes people confuse the median with the mean and the mode. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. Again, we wanna find the median of this data set right here. Okay, so the correct solution is five. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know this is easy, but I totally forgot this stuff. Well, don't worry, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. The median, what word does that sound like, okay? Well, if you said middle, let's see, this is like the middle, maybe a middle number. Well, if you're thinking middle, then that's very good thinking, okay? So I'll get back to the median here in a second. But before we talk about the median, we want to make sure we understand uh, the other words that are oftentimes confused with the median, okay? And this is the mean, median, and mode, okay? Now, of course, we're talking about the median in this particular video, but we need to make sure we understand what the mean and mode are so we don't confuse it with the median, and that is a very common thing that people do. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here's our numbers. We're actually going to quickly calculate the mean, median, node for our set of data here. So a quick question for you, what is the mean? Okay, do you know what that is? Well, this is nothing more than the average, okay, the average. So uh, can you calculate the average of these numbers? Well, if you can, maybe uh, go ahead and do that real quick. Maybe put that answer into the comment section. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we calculate the average, which of course is the mean, okay? So when we're calculating the average, of a set of data, okay? These can be test scores, could be home values. Now, of course, these are smaller numbers, but this is what data is, okay? Uh, D-A-T-A, -A, data. And by the matter of fact, uh, for those of you that might be interested, there is a um, really fast-growing uh, field, career field, called data science, okay? And um, uh, of course, this is math related, but it's all about statistical measures of what's going on, you know, with, um, you know, like website performances and, you know, how well things sell online, how well, it's just a huge field. So if any of you are, you know, you know, like math, okay, and if you're looking for a great career field, this is taking off big time data science. Okay, so uh, how do we find the average? Well, it's very simple. All we need to do is find the sum total of the numbers and divide by how many numbers we have. We have one, two, three, four, five numbers. So all we gotta do is add these numbers up, two plus one plus three plus one plus six, that divided by five. This is gonna be the average, but the kind of uh, more technical name for it is the mean, okay? So remember, the mean is the average, and when we do this, we're going to get 13, all right? So all these numbers add up to 13, we divide it by five, that's gonna be 2.6, so that is what the mean is. Okay, so let's go down here, and with our little data uh, right here, okay, we're measuring the uh, measures of central tendency, we now understand what the mean is. Okay, now we're gonna figure out what the median and mode are next, so let's go ahead and get uh, to it. All right, so before we do that though, I'm gonna just quickly ask you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this really helps me. Uh, really reach other people that are interested in math or need help in mathematics. Matter of fact, if you do this, I will look like this. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification button. Uh, I do have currently on my channel uh, about 2,000 plus videos from basic math to advanced math. Uh, so from like, you know, you know, arithmetic all the way through calculus and everything in between. So I'm posting new material all the time. So if you're interested in any level of math, you know, please scour through my videos. I made them all for you. But thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. Now back to the little uh, explanation on the mean and median and mode. Okay, so as I indicated, uh, the median 
has something to do with the middle, okay? So it's like, you know, this kind of sounds like middle, right? Median, middle. Well, you're thinking, right, okay, it is the middle number. But we can't determine the, what the middle number is until we take the numbers that we have and arrange them from lowest to highest, okay? So we want to arrange them from lowest to highest, from left to right. So we're going to kind of rearrange these uh, so that they're in increasing order. So we got a one, so we'll write that there. We have another one, so we'll write that there. We have a two, so that comes next. Then we have a three, we'll put that there. Then we have a six, we'll put that there. Okay, so how many numbers do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. What is the middle number? Well, the middle number here is two, right? Because I have two numbers on the uh, right-hand side of two, and I have two numbers on the left-hand side of two. So the median is two. Okay, now this is really, really important because uh, let's kind of go back to our uh, concept of our um, home sales stuff, right? Let me just kind of go back over here. So let's uh, go back to our lovely homes, right? I'm going to do this real fast. Here is our homes, and this would be 900,000, and this would be uh, 50,000, let's say 60,000, and uh, 50,000. Well, let's just kind of rearrange this in order. Uh, 50, 60, another, let's say this was 70, okay? And I'm going to put in one other house right here. Let's call this 40,000. So 40, 50, 60, 70, and 900,000, okay? So what is the median? Well, these homes are from uh, ordered from uh, increasing value, right? So this is the cheapest. This is the most expensive. The middle home is 60,000, okay? So if I say the median... Uh, cost of a home on this street is 60,000. Yeah, that's fairly representative of what's going on. Although we have this one uh, home that's 900,000, you know, if I uh, looked at the average, the average would be way more expensive, right? The average would be like, you know, whatever it is, might be 250 uh, plus. Uh, but the average sometimes, oftentimes is, um, you know, deceptive. Okay. This is why the mean or the average is really not used too much to describe statistical situations. Doesn't mean that you don't want to have it because you do want to have it, uh, but it's, you know, the median is oftentimes, uh, you know, uh, generally more descriptive and more accurate on terms of what's going on. Okay, so that is what the median is, but we haven't yet answered the question. I'll get to that in just one second because there's a little bit of a twist here. But before we do that, let's just go back and take a look at the measures of central tenancy, which are the mean, median, mode. So for all these numbers here, we figured out what the average is of the mean. It's 2.6. The median is 2. And now we're going to get to the mode. Sometimes a set of numbers will have a mode. Sometimes it will not. All the mode is is the number that shows up the most. Okay. So when you look at all these numbers, if there's a particular number that repeats or shows up more than the other numbers, the one that shows up the most, if there is such a number, is the mode. In this case, the mode is one. All right, so these would be my measures of central tenancy. So I could say, okay, well, here is the mean, here, uh, here's the median, here's the mode, and this would tell the story about this data set. And there's other things in statistics, in statistics that you learn. You probably heard of uh, standard deviation, some other things like that. So this can continue to go on and on, but this is just basic statistical measures. And there's, there's another one I'm kind of uh, skipping on right here. It's called the range. But if you understand these, uh, those are pretty good. And I bring up these three words because they all start with M and oftentimes they're confused, one, uh, people confuse one with the other, especially the mean and median. Okay, so finally we're going to answer the question. So what is the median of our uh, data, two, four, six, and eight? Well, it's going to be the middle number. We're gonna go ahead and arrange these numbers from lowest to highest, two, four, six, eight. Well, they're arranged correctly, but what is the middle number? Okay, well, if I split this in half, I got two numbers here and two numbers here. Hey, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, there is no middle number. So uh, maybe this set of data has no median. Well, that is actually not the case. So when there is no um, middle number, we're not when we are dealing with an even set of data, what we have to do is take the average, okay, or the mean of what's in the middle. So you know, obviously the middle number is going to be right here. So we have to break the tie between four and six. And all we have to do is simply find the average uh, or the mean of those middle, num the numbers closest to the middle, which of course are four and six. So four plus six 
is 10. We have two numbers, 10 divided by two is five, and that is the median of this particular set of data. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.